prospects since LeBron James. Can this third generation NBA athlete and 19 year old superstar live up to the hype? The journey begins tonight as he plays his first NBA game. Hello, deja vu in here. <laughs> I know, right? It's not every day you see his son playing his first NBA game. I know I shouldn't be focused on this, but I still can't believe the grandpa's not here right now. It just doesn't feel right. It's okay to feel that way. I miss him too, but you know, grandpa would kick you behind if he knew you didn't distract you like that. <laughs> you gotta put that on the back burner, man. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Now listen, man, there are gonna be a lot of people in here tonight. But you and I both know what you've been working towards all these years. Greatness. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the hype. Most of the people talking, they don't even believe what they say half the time. But me and you believe. Yeah, what do we believe? If I could be one of the best players to ever play this game. Yes, sir. That starts tonight. Let's get this win and get out of here. Let's talk for a minute. Getting me ready for this since I was six years old, so I'm ready. Okay, so that's why they say what they say about you, huh? Can't miss a legend at 19, the next GOAT. <laughs> yep, keep going. <laughs> Look, just don't try to prove it all at once, right? Look, you got the all NBA upside, clearly. So you only need to show flashes right now. Coach, I'm trying to show my full potential. That's the competitor's mentality, and I get that. But just remember that it's a long process, MP. As long as you tap into what makes you great, we're all good. No one is expecting a fully formed MVP on day one. Loud and clear, coach. Great. So go out there and have a little fun. Hey, you know I will. Check out these free kicks that we're hooking you up with. On behalf of Jordan, I'd like to wish you good luck in your first NBA game. Not Thanks. that you need it or anything. We're all real excited to see what you do out there. And he is the focus tonight. 
the entire NBA ready to watch this man, MP. After all of the talk, it's time for MP to take the floor. A chance to prove how Brady can be. This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. And now Washington's starting group. Sliding in at the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Bagley and it's T in at the one spot. And for Indiana, they've got Turner. Siakam is up there with Benedict Matherin. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two. And Greg making his debut. MP coming from a long line of NBA players. And Kevin MP, the son of Prince, a longtime Clipper and Mad player. And don't forget his grandfather was Truck, another pro player who played back in the 80s. So MP, the latest member of the family to make you guys turn or a player you can't allow to get free near the rack. He's a great dunker. Bang. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's T. Kuzma with a screen on Hellebert. The three from Poole. Hits the three-point bomb. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Now, here's Halliburton, guarded closer. Bagley with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. A shot by T, no good. The man looks out there. T, the pass to Avdia. Here's T. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And MP, one of the most touted rookies in quite some time. Greg already had a shoe deal in place when he was drafted. And the team at Jordan identified him immediately as someone they wanted to sign. Makes sense, too, given how likely he is to be a star. Jordan wanted him with the company right from the start. Now, here's Poole. Following the miss by Tyrese Halliburton. Drives to the hoop. T's shot is good. T's got his second bucket of the game to go. Halliburton feeling it out a bit. Outside Matherin. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. The confidence of Matherin. Palpable. You see it and feel it. That looked good from the moment it left his hand. Kuzma outside. Bagley sends a screen for Kuzma. Passes to Avdia. Here's T. Rejected by Halliburton. Got to be impressed with Halliburton's defensive instincts there. I mean, able to come away with the rejection. You don't see guards do that a lot. Nifty move. He gets it in there. Halliburton's got eight points. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. To the paint, here's T. Pacers with the rebound. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that post. Kevin just continued to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now, here's Halliburton. A shot by Nemhard, no good. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. A second round draft pick in 2022, Clark Nemhard is pretty impressive. I might even categorize him as a surprise hit, if you will. He makes a huge impact out there when he's on the floor. And for somebody that was drafted in the second round, that's great value. Matherin finds Halliburton. Here's Turner, and it's Turner. Yeah, we've seen this video before, guys. Kuzma can take over games with his scoring. I mean, he's smart, he's tough, and he's relentless in exploiting defenses. Now, here's Neesmith. Kicks it to Toppin. And he gets the whistle for the three-second goal. And now, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Washington Wiz second basket of the game. 
and I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside, but he can't get it going here. Oh, great ball movement. So it's the Pacers now. Seven-point differential. They can look forward to the Cavaliers after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Here's T. Sinks the three-pointer. T's got seven points for the quarter. And they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, I agree with you. Big run taking place right now, and it looks to be the beginning of the end. Now, here's Halliburton. He's got eight. And dialing up the three ball, he finally puts it in to the 14-0 run by the Wizards. Here's T. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. Siakam outside. Misses the three. Hook. It's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. And the pass to T. Now here's Kispert. And again, Washington with the triple. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And it's Halliburton missing. Bagley finds Jones. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game. We hope to see you again soon. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. You too, though, bro. Man, you keep this up, and he'll start justifying all that hype. Nah, I'm just trying to ball, man. I can't be worried about all that. Nah, all good. I'll see you next time, man. <laughs> Looking forward to yes, it. Sir, I'm going to make you eat those words, too. Hey, you can try. Bet. <laughs> I do my best to get to everybody, but we're going to try to do this in an orderly fashion, all right? Uh, why don't we start uh, right over here? Gary Carson, local news. MP, this was the most anticipated rookie debut since LeBron James. And even with all that hype, you blew away expectations. Your box score numbers jump off the page. You outperformed guys like Michael Jordan and LeBron James in their first games. Is it fair to say that you're on your way to becoming one of the next all-time greats? Uh, most guys in the league think they've got that kind of ceiling. I mean, why else would you work this hard? But Michael Jordan isn't Michael Jordan because he had a good first game. He's MJ because he won six chips, five MPPs, nine all defense. My ceiling's sky high, bro. I mean, but of course, I want legendary status, and I won't have it until I start winning chips. It's that simple. Uh, next question. Thank you. Uh, right over here. Lina Becker, Sportbild monatlich. Wie fühlt es sich an, dein allererstes NBA-Spiel zu gewinnen mit Fans, die auf der ganzen Welt zuschauen? Lena Becker, Sport Monthly. How does it feel to get your first win in an NBA game with fans watching all around the world? Um, getting the win is huge. Hey, wherever fans of this team live, I want to make them happy because that's what it's all about. Um, gelling as a team, winning games, and giving the people who support you a reason to be proud. Danke, thank you. All right, we got time for one more. Uh, you, sir, in the back. 
Damian Patterson, City Free Press. What does it mean to you to be a third generation NBA player, following in the footsteps of your father Prince and grandfather Chuck? Uh, yeah, it means I have a target on my back. I had every advantage growing up, I know that. And I've got all the natural ability in the world, thanks to my genetics. When you got both those things, people want to take you down a peg. But I thrive on that. It makes me better. Thank you. Next question. Um, right, right up front. Parfait, merci. Beatrice Corbet, La Compétition. Votre maillot est le maillot le plus vendu en France en ce moment. Avez-vous un message pour vos fans français? Beatrice Corbet, The Competition. Your jersey is the number one selling jersey in France at the moment. Do you have any message for your French fans? Oui, <laughs> uh, oui, oui, actually. J'aime la France. Oh, très bien, vous parlez français. What did she say? And she asked if you speak French. Oh, <laughs> well, there's your answer. Listen, they told me a few days ago who'd be here, so I practiced some stuff in different languages, but unfortunately, no, I don't speak French, as you guessed it. But maybe one day, though, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful language, and, uh, hey, merci. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of you, MP. Hey, you should be. I'm about to do something special with the family name. No? Level it up. You talk real big for somebody who just was crying as they dropped their uh, Ninja Turtle in the toilet. <laughs> Pop, that was like 12 years ago. I'm a, f I'm a grown man now. You can't even rent a car. <laughs> That's why I got you. Uh-huh, and you're lucky that you do. Hey, I appreciate it, Pop. You here to keep me on track? Uh -huh. You know what the goal is. Greatness. That's right. Oh, uh, speaking of, you know who this guy is. Yeah. What about him? Just updated his all-time GOAT list. Says that you have a chance to make it to the top someday. For real? Mm -hmm. Take a look. So with all this talk about MP being the best prospect since LeBron James and Victor Webinyama being a generational talent, it got me thinking about my all-time GOAT list. Now, if you are new to the pod, you might not know that I have a passion for ranking the legends. I've spent a massive amount of time researching their careers, and I placed them into five tiers of greatness. You can find that list on my website, by the way. Now, I love working on my GOAT list, but these guys are so legendary that they tend to stay in the same spot year after year. So I decided to add a new tier called the Got Next tier. This tier contains some of the younger guys in the league who aren't quite GOATs yet, but who, if they continue on their current trajectories, will almost certainly be in that discussion when their careers are over. Now, you may be wondering who's in the Got Next tier, so let's get to it. These are in order, by the way. Luca, Embiid, Tatum, Zion, Webinyama, and of course, MP. Now, a lot of you might be like, you know, I put MP behind Webinyama, but they're basically tied, you know, as I see it. And if MP distinguishes himself early on, I'll be happy to swap him with Vic. So, let me know. What do you think? Is there anyone who should be on the Got Next tier? but isn't. Is there anyone who is there, but shouldn't be? Hit me up on social, we'll talk about it. These are the kind of people you want on your side if they're gonna call you the ghost someday. Oh, come on, Pop. Media doesn't matter. It's all about winning games. Yeah, you're wrong. You need to understand how these people see you. I wish I would've played the game when I was your age. Look, all due respect, Pop, I'm not like you. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes you did. I spent the best years of my career in losing situations because winning organizations didn't see me as someone who had their head screwed on time. Because you didn't, though. Not at first, okay? But when I was with Dallas, they gave me a shot. Could have been sooner if I had played the game. <sighs> All right. Son, you're trying to do something that nobody's ever done before. And when you do it, believe me, we will do it. There's going to be no question who the goal is. That's how you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. 